TLO, what's poppin'? We are on Twitch. We are not live. But you can leave a like and a comment, subscribe, turn on your post notification bells, man. Let's continue to grow the family from Chicago to the UK, man. If we do go live and you happen to miss it, this is the channel you can catch it on right above me. Don't forget, we do got Patreon Monday through Friday. And we got merch. Yeah, get me. Uh, but eight poncho, man. Salute. Once again, salute. Uh, four. Four. Y'all see the title. They got in that jail and stood on Bindi. Let's get into it, man. This is what I like to see. It's the morning of November 3rd, 2020, and a 13-year-old girl is making her way to school. Unbeknownst to her, she's being stalked as she walks up Pitcon Road in Mitcham, southwest London. As she makes it to this point, the stalker, a hooded man, sneaks up behind her and covers her mouth so she can't scream for help. She's then dragged back down Pitcon Road. Although the road was quiet on that morning in November, there was someone watching, 10-year-old Ashanti Fagan. She lives in the local area. Hey, is everything all right? She's my sister. We're all good. But the 13-year-old gave Ashanti a look that sent shivers down her spine. She knew something wasn't right. 10-year-old Ashanti, yes, a 10-year-old girl, took it upon herself to follow the pair because she believed, and rightly so, that the girl had just been kidnapped by this mysterious figure in broad daylight. The trio walked 300 meters to this alleyway. That sits just off North Place. Once arriving, Ashanti thought it would be best. Not gonna lie, W Ashanti, man. She still on business. She know what was going on. W is Shanty. She should have made a phone call, though. Like, but you did the right thing so far. If she gave her twenty-year-old sister Zion a call to tell her what she oh she did witness. okay. I think I've just seen a girl being kidnapped. What do you mean? What have you actually seen? Listen, I've just saw a man holding this young girl's face, dragging her down the road. I'm just at the alleyway. Come and have a look, quick. Remember, the Fagan family only lived around the corner from the alleyway in question, so both the girl's mother and Zayan rushed to the scene to keep an eye on the situation until police arrived. However, when Zayan spotted the pair down the alleyway, she felt like she had to intervene. Anyone that just walked past us, mum? So what are you doing in the corner with her? I remember this. This morning, on her way to school, my little sister witnessed a little girl being abducted. The man was quickly walking down the road with his hands over the girl's mouth. My sister thought it was suspicious. She called my mum and my sister and let them know so they were able to try and follow him. When they caught up with him, he had already had the girl perform sexual acts on him and was attempting to remove her clothes. This is what Zion and Ashanti's older sister would post to her Instagram to try and spread awareness about the incident across social media. She needed to identify the person. Within a couple of hours, the incident blew up online with nearly every major UK Instagram blog page reposting the video. And by the early afternoon, the man had been identified. 26-year-old Cadian Nelson. The hunt to identify the perpetrator. I've definitely seen this. I've seen this. I remember this. I remember this, I remember this online to the hunt for the perpetrator himself as quite literally hundreds of people took to the streets of london to try and locate him some didn't I want didn't to hand him to the police stuff. though they wanted to deal with him themselves and homes that were connected to cadian were paid a visit recording mate stop recording what stop recording i can record if i want can you call up 101 with whatever information you have please yeah but why did you just say not stop recording though i appreciate you're trying to help us yeah sir. we are here yeah I'm not gonna lie, y'all should call the police in situations like this, but I can't knock y'all for doing what y'all doing. They be moving too slow. And sometimes they, they go, this dude probably got, what, two years. You do your job. Yeah, cool. You do your job. Make sure you knock on his door. Sir, please. Sir, do not knock on his door. What? Why? Do not on any doors. All right? Why is that? Is call it, it, 101 with uh, any information you have, please, sir. Yeah. All right? I appreciate you trying to help us. Do as we ask. Okay? All right, can you do us a favor, please? Yeah, but you, sh you should just knock right, on his... I can see you recording. Yes, we should record, because our children aren't safe. If you want to assist us, please call 101. 
Alright, cool. Make sure. Alright, we'll wait here until we see what happens. Because you should be really just kicking his door down. Our children sir, are not safe. Sir, sir, yeah. please assist us and call 101 and stop drawing attention All right, to cool. us. Alright, cool. Thank you very much. Alright, mate. I ain't even gonna lie, man. I'm I'm not gonna knock what they doing. After the initial incident, very much. All right, mate. Around 13 hours after the initial incident had taken place, Cadian had been spotted by a member of the public on Robinson Road, just half a mile from where he was last seen in Mitcham. He was subsequently arrested by police. After the attack, Cadian had travelled to the other side of London to book himself into a hotel. During the hours before his arrest, he spent the day shopping for some items and then headed back to the hotel to drop said items off. Once they'd been dropped off, he went back to the area where the rape took place and was spotted by a member of the public. Cadian Nelson was charged with rape, kidnap and making threats to kill. The 13 year old girl told police that he had told her he would kill her if she didn't go with him and do what he said. When questions were put to him during police interviews, he kept quiet. He didn't even give a no comment. The man that got a nose ring? Like what are you doing? Like the UK already be talking to me about my nose ring like I won't get on like, like it matters. You know what I'm saying? But now look what you've got going on fam response. On August 13th, 2021, Cadian was handed a 20-year prison sentence. They gave him a dub? He deserves it. He deserves it. That's that. I'm surprised because the UK judicial system is so flawed. So is American, but like this is... 12 of those terrible. years will be spent in jail, 8 of them out on license. During the sentencing hearing, the victim in the case said that what she went through was every child and parent's worst nightmare. This will affect me and my family on an extremely personal level and the way that I personally view aspects of my life and relationships. It has affected my ability to do very simple everyday things now, such as go to school or be able to be independent. Pedophile who kidnapped and raped a 13-year-old girl was battered within seconds of arriving in jail and left needing plastic surgery. Was that? Oh, y'all beat the structure out of him. Y'all beat the structure out of his bones. And YouTube, I'm not saying that I condone that, but... Headline across many newspapers in April of 2021, only days after Cadian had pleaded guilty to the charges that were placed against him. So this would have been roughly four months before he was handed that 20 year sentence. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, some good old prison justice was handed down. It was a brutal attack by a prisoner who had arrived in the same van. Everyone knew what he had done. It was clearly targeted. A prisoner was treated in hospital for an injury to his cheek. Police are investigating. Police gonna let that ride. That is salutable. Salute. It's video? Hey, Poncho, what you doing? Where we going? August 13th, 2016. A 16 year old girl boards a train in Bristol, England. Oh, she heads more? for the capital. It isn't entirely clear why she's going because reports don't say. But given the fact it was the summer holiday in the United Kingdom, she was more than likely going there to meet someone. At the age of 16, it isn't common to know that many people outside of your own city. And so it looked then as if the girl was going to meet up with either A, someone she knew from Bristol, B, someone from London who she clearly trusted, or C, decided to make the trip for herself to maybe take in some of the sights. But what was supposed to be a fun-filled day out to London would turn into a nightmare when she arrived. So, 
what happened? Well, after arriving, she traveled to the Enfield area of the city. And while there, she either met up with or crossed paths with 22-year-old Roberto French, 21-year-old Abdi Salam Mohammed, and 22-year-old Hilal Mohammed. Just moments after the two parties came together, Roberto French pulled out a machete, held it to the young girl's throat, and robbed her in front of Abdi Salam and Hilal. Roberto then grabbed the girl and dragged her into a block of flats in Enfield. The other two didn't Enfield, where they only wear green, three by three. I know y'all ain't let that go. I know. I come on now. Try to stop him. And even though they didn't play a role in robbing the girl, they would turn out to be just as dangerous as Roberto. You see, while in the flat, the men took turns at whooping the girl multiple times. When the ordeal was over, she fled from the flat, but was quickly followed by Roberto. Eventually, though, he did let her go. Although the incident took place in the summer of 2016, the case wouldn't make it to trial until four years later. This was due to various reasons, including finding the suspects involved. You see, Roberto was arrested just two days after the incident occurred, so that statement didn't really apply to him. But believe it or not, it took police over a year to track down, arrest, and charge Abdi Salam, and a further year to track down, arrest, and charge Hilal. Once all three had been charged, a trial date was set for the spring of 2020. Details about the trial are kept quiet, more than likely due So even after all three were caught, two years after you all caught the last person, that's when the trial was put into play. ...to the nature of the case. But we do know that after the trial, all three men were found guilty of rape. On top of that, Roberto was also found guilty of false imprisonment and robbery. Roberto was handed a 17-year prison sentence for his role in the incident, whilst Abdi Salam and Hilal were handed 14-year sentences. That's Just good. days after the trio were found guilty, footage would emerge online of Abdi Salam being confronted by gang members at HMP Pentonville. He popped him in the head. Oh, you heard was. <laughs> That's what that's tough. This is what you get, man, in prison, man, when you doing foo foo stuff, like when you doing funny stuff like that, like, like that's what should happen in prison. In the early hours of July 18th, 2014, the Volusia County Sheriff's Office out of Volusia County, Florida, received this call from a father. He didn't came to Florida with it, huh? Who had just witnessed something horrific. 911, where's the emergency? My emergency is at... I just walked in and found a grown man molesting and I got him in a bloody puddle for you right now, officer. Okay, sir, well, sir, sir, you're at it. Yes. Okay, this is... Yeah, you heard that, man. You got him in a... He got had him in a puddle of plasma. I don't... I'm, I'm not mad at it. That's... that's... <laughs> Holly Hill. It's in Holly Hill, and you're in a... Yep. I want the pedophile gone. Okay, okay, sir. Okay, you said somebody was molesting... He was molesting... And I walked in here... I didn't proceed to ask any more questions, sir. Is he still doing it now, or is he stopped? Oh, absolutely not. He is nice and knocked out on the floor for you. I drug him into the living room. Oh, uh, okay, so... All right, so, okay. He's safe right now. Yes, safe. Okay, how old is... He's 11 years old. Uh, okay, all right, we got help on the way, okay? And you said the person who assaulted, he's, he's not, he's beat him up. He's, oh, I'll, yeah, he's he wants, send him an ambulance. He's going to need one. All right, do not, do not hang up with me. Stay on the phone with me until police get there. Are there any, were there any weapons involved? My fist and my foot. 
Okay, no guns, no knives, anything like that from anybody? Absolutely not, sir. Okay, what is what is this? I ain't gonna lie, you in Florida, boy, you got lucky because you, I would have, boy, I would have full on blitzed you. Uh, you wouldn't have made it. It would have been too late. Raymond Frolander. 35-year-old Jason Browning had left his young son at home with 18-year-old family friend Raymond Frolander and some other friends. Raymond had often babysat for Jason. The night in question was the usual. Everyone ate and played some video games. Eventually, it was time for the other children to leave, meaning only Jason's son and Raymond were present. Sadly, ladies and gentlemen, only moments after the children left, Raymond sexually assaulted Jason's son. He Everyone ate and played. 35 year old Jason Browning had left his young son at home with 18 year old family friend Raymond Frolander and some other friends. Raymond had often babysat for Jason. The night in question was the usual. Everyone. Not even gonna lie, man. No male is babysitting any of my children. I don't care if it's female, if my children are girls or boys, no male. There's no male that's going to baby family friend or not. It's a no. <laughs> Ate and played some video games. Eventually, it was time for the other children to leave, meaning only Jason's son and Raymond were present. Sadly, ladies and gentlemen, only moments after the children left, Raymond sexually assaulted Jason's son. So he He'd been plotting. doing this for three years leading up to July 18th, 2014. When police arrived at the scene, Jason Browning marched officers through to his living room. And there he was, Raymond, unconscious but breathing. Jason didn't just... Yeah, Mr. Browning was a big dude. He got him. ...to leave him unrecognizable. He nearly killed him. I just snapped when I walked in Raymond, naked with my son. I went to the kitchen and grabbed a knife. I was going to kill him. My son was the one who stepped in front of me and stopped me. My son saved his attacker's life. He's the real hero in this situation, not me. It isn't entirely clear what happened next, reports don't say. But given the state Raymond was found in, he more than likely spent a few days at the hospital before being taken in for questioning. During police interviews, Raymond admitted to sexually assaulting the young boy for the three years leading up to that point. Due to this confession, along with other evidence, he was charged with lewd and lascivious molestation of a victim younger than 12. But believe it or not, he initially denied the charge and wanted to take this case to trial. How? He walked in. Uh. However, in April of 2015, he pleaded no contest to the charge and was handed a 25 year prison sentence. An 18 year old. 25, yeah. Florida don't play that. You're getting 25 of them. And you're going to be terrible. Like, yo, the back of your body is going to be terrible. Where, where, where stuff is excreted from you, they're going to turn that inside out in there. In Daytona Beach, beaten by the. I'm talking. The father of a child he sexually assaulted is going to prison for 25 years. He just pleaded no contest to an amended charge. In exchange, Raymond Frolander avoided a mandatory life sentence if convicted at trial. West is Tell me, uh, America don't play that when they come. You was about to get a life sentence, buddy, if you went to trial. Claire Matz is live at the Justice Center and was in court for the plea. Still got a 25. Still got a 25 -er. Yeah, Frolander was caught in the act last summer by the 11-year-old victim's father who took his outrage out on Frolander's face. Today, the family agreed to a plea deal, lewd and lascivious molestation instead of sexual battery, but the father is no less angry. How do you plea? No contest. I accept your plea. On the advice of his attorney, Raymond Frolander took a plea and was found guilty of molesting an 11-year-old boy as the child's family watched in court. We are not identifying them to protect the child, but the victim's father is still furious that Frolander, who he treated like family, could hurt his son. The father spoke briefly to us before pushing the cameras away. He's going to learn in the next 25 years why I let him live. Now I can't afford to replace y'all's cameras. The father is referring... That's fact to the beating he gave Frolander when the father returned home last July. No, he's not referring to that. He's referring to he's going to see the next 25 years in jail with Dave Funa. To find Frolander sexually battering his son. The father admitted then he would have killed Frolander if the victim, his son, hadn't stopped him. 
the father doesn't forgive, but the victim's grandmother does and says the plea deal was for the boy, so he didn't have to go through a painful trial. I've learned to go on, and now I just have to reinstill trust in my grandson. He, he just needs to learn to trust again. Frolander will serve 25 years, followed by lifetime sex offender probation. And he'll wear an ankle monitor once he's released from prison. The victim's grandmother actually has some empathy for Frolander. I feel... Well, I would not know empathy. I would not care. For him, I wished we somebody had gotten him help at some point. But, you know, this happened, and now the, the streets are free of a pedophile. Abusive pedophile. The victim was not in court for the plea deal. The family says he's living in another part of the state. He's gotten a lot of counseling. He's strong and getting better every day. They say they are now working actively to improve laws around the country when it comes to predators and children. We're live in Daytona Beach, Volusia County. Claire Metz, West 2 News. Of course not. It was very understandable. This is Florida. It ain't happening. A TikTok. How many videos in one? In December of 2021, a TikTok account would post this video of a newly convicted sex offender being confronted by fellow inmates. Dude, just chill. <laughs> it was a little girl, little boy. No. What it was? What's your name? It was a little girl. What's little your boy. name? Give your full name. What's your name? Oh, you you see, they're looking at me, stupid bitch. I'm a. Hey, hey, chill. What's chill. your name? After this clip was posted, rumors began. You know what that was? That was a. <laughs> to circulate online that the man in the video had been stabbed to death. However, ladies and gentlemen, that isn't the case. But you might be asking yourself, how did this man, T. Morris, find himself in the position that he was in? Well, this all stemmed from a case that dates back to 2018. There isn't any in-depth reporting, so we'll have to just go off what we've got. According to sources, T. Morris was arrested and charged back in February of 2018 on two counts of first-degree sexual exploitation of a minor, 11 counts of second-degree sexual exploitation of a minor, and 10 counts of third degree sexual exploitation of a minor. Investigators said that T. Morris had recorded a nude minor without their knowledge or consent. He was also said to have possessed and distributed child sexual abuse images. Fast forwarding to 2021 then, and T. Morris found himself face to face with other prisoners. Although they don't lay a finger on him in the video, that isn't to say that once the cameras stopped rolling, he didn't get a beat down. He may have also been stabbed. We can't say for certain what happened when the filming stopped, but we do know for certain that he's still alive and is actually scheduled for release in the near future. It makes it real scary to raise children in this day and era with these preverts going around like this, man. At least the streets is giving it some kind of justice because the judicial system. I mean, the judicial system in Florida, they gon' they you gonna get you might you gonna get it. But man, just be careful, man. Pay attention to your child. Pay attention to the signs. If you don't know the signs, go learn them, man. Tell them, leave a like, comment, subscribe, turn on your post, and go.